Kissa. High oh, school boy football look this season. People them ready, you know. All right then, big up, man in cup. Only for your shield, you make me link up. See what the jump down, stop bending. Yeah, big tune. Now, with the Scoopboy football season done and dusted and all champions crowned, Issa have delivered their squads for the older Costa and all Manning Cup teams. And as you know, we always have the exclusive scoop here on the Sportsmag Zone. Let's start with the older Costa lineup for the first time. You're going to see it. Let's go. Goalkeepers, Rashid Burrell, Clarendon College and Antoine Gooden of Glenmuir, the defenders. Alanda Lee Blake of Garver Maceo, Nashon Bolt of Clarendon College, Campbell of St. Elizabeth Technical, Latibo Green of Clarendon College, Headley of Glenmuir, Devonte Hodges, Clarendon College, Tyree McKinley of Garver Maceo, and then the midfielders, Theon Cupid, Clarendon College, Davis of McGraw High, Malachi Douglas, no surprise, Clarendon College, Kyle Gordon, no surprise, Glenn Muir, Shamir Hutchinson of Dintel gets in, and Jason White of Glenn Muir in there as well, and the forwards, Clear Cart, Garver Maceo, no surprise, Dejon Cummings of Glenn Muir, mm -hmm. Kahim Dixon, Clarendon College, Tyrese Gaw of Dintel Technical gets in in the forward line, he could have gotten in at midfield as well, and Stevon Spence of Foom Technical is also in that setup. Yeah, let's have a look at the all Manning squad now, shall we? Goalkeeper Shakur Adir of Tivoli Gardens and Dejon Davis of St. George's College. Defenders Michael Forbes Heidel, Alex Xavier Gooden, San Andrew Technical, Rabino Gordon of Mona, Stevon Johnson of Mona, Robert Siao, Kingston College, Malachi Sterling, Jamaica College, Kemar Thompson, St. Andrew Technical in midfield, Ronaldo Barrett, no surprise there, Adrian Reed Jr. of St. George's College, Denzel McKenzie, Mona, Dylan John, JC, Nikoi Gale of St. Andrew Technical gets in in midfield, Dejon Green of Kingston College, also there, Brian Burkett of St. George's College, Omaria Henry, Heidel, Leon Brown of Stats, Demaria Daly of Kingston College, and Romaria and Thomas of Mona, the forwards for the Old Manning squad. Chris Taylor is still with us on set. So, Chris, let's get right to it and start with the Aldo Costa team. From your standpoint, any surprises in that squad? No real surprises, dominated, I would think, by the semi-finalists in the Costa Cup, especially uh, Glenn Muir, Clarendon, Tintil, and of course, yeah. So, I, 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 no surprise there. I think generally the names that you would have expected to see, uh, probably Asha Hutchinson, the goalkeeper from Dintil, Premier League keeper as well. Maybe a bit of a surprise that he couldn't make the top three. Of course, Gavin Masia, the other semi-finalists, yeah. But I'm a bit surprised that he couldn't make the top three as a goalkeeper based on his experience and how long he's been around. Uh, maybe Giovanni Affleck from Dintil as well might have felt that he just missed out. Didn't have as good a season as he did last year. Yeah, uh, I was about to make the point that I, yeah. I saw Affleck a couple of times this campaign yeah. as well, and I wasn't overly impressed. Uh, I felt that for a forward of his quality and given how well he did last season, um, that he missed too many relatively easy opportunities. Still managed 14 goals and then you look at who they have there as you, you call a couple names and go, hmm, surprising. So I'm just saying, it, 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 I don't think it's a big deal that he's left out. Had yes. he been in, I don't think it would have been a big deal either. So I'm saying he might be a little bit disappointed. Having made the, that cut last year, um, and Tyrese Gore, obviously, is his, his, his strike partner, um, gets in ahead of him. But I think generally the selection is, is good. I think the selection is right for the most part. I'm a little bit... Another thing I wanted to look at, if you counted the names there, I, I thought generally when you do an all the cost and all Manning team, I expect to see a first 11, second 11. So you would have a 22-man squad, yeah. which gives all positions equity. I don't think they did that on this occasion. I also like when a formation is produced early. Yeah. Because obviously if you're playing with four at the back, then how, your complement of players might be slightly different in terms of how many defenders, midfielders versus you playing 3-5-2. I think right now in modern football, 4-3-3 is probably the most used formation, especially at the schoolboy level. So I would have understood going with that. And in that case, you are looking for eight defenders, six midfielders and, and six forwards. And obviously, it then gives equity, as you said, you would have four wing backs yeah. and so on. I, I don't think they went about it in that way. And so maybe some positions feeling it a little bit more than others. Yeah, I want to bring up Tajon Cummings um, from Glenmuir, mm -hmm. who really excited fans. 
when you see him, he has a lot of skill. He gets by a lot of players. He dazzles. Um, but I had an issue with his end product for a lot of the times I saw him. And from my standpoint, even though he is such an exciting player, and I personally think he has so much potential, I'm not sure if he makes it for me just because of the end product. I don't think it's consistent enough. Well, yeah, and I, I saw when you kind of re went over his name. Um, I think I think maybe Cummins also picked on, on potential and what they know he can produce. But I agree, uh, breaks down teams very well in a strong Glenmuir team. Uh, wants to sharpen up again with the finishing. But we have said that about quite a few other fours. We spoke about Africa as well. Obviously, Kahim Dixon this season are cut above the, the rest in terms but, of... But his... it's not just the finishing, it's the deliveries as well. Yeah. B because it's, it's part of his game. He plays out wide, you're looking for quality consistent passes and I just feel that he does a lot with the ball but the the final um, deliveries are not as consistent as you would want them to be especially for a player that has shown the the level of skill that he has shown and, and that's the point I think when maybe you look at the level of skill that he has and what he can produce especially from wide areas his movement which is more advanced, I would say, than three-quarters of the De Costa Cup. Yes. When you look at his competition in terms of the places, who else is, who, who are the other players who will be competing with him? Yeah. I still think he might be a cut above the rest in terms of where he's at now. And then you look at him and you say, well, you can see where he's, he should go. Oh, yeah. So I, I think... Fair point. Yeah. I think, I think with a little bit more fine-tuning, he could be one to deal with. Yeah, well, he definitely does excite the fans. Um, to the all Manning setup, um, shall we go, Chris? How about this one? Pretty much what you expected? Pretty much what you expected. I, I'm a bit surprised that they have put Romarion Thomas in, in the forward bracket. I actually think he's more of a midfielder, more of a, a number eight. Mm -hmm. Romarion Thomas, he's one of the players of the season for me from Mona, their number eight. Um, again, you look at this team, and I certainly agree, Adair, best goalkeeper I've seen from Tivoli Gans. I'm so glad that he was rewarded with that spot. I think the second place goalkeeper could have been many. There was also Tajari Lee from, from, from Heidel, who I thought was pretty good. And Heidel, a school that I was produces about to a say lot Kingston of. Kingston College. Well, and then Heidel, <laughs> but produces so many good goalkeepers. Um, if you look at their history, Nicholas Clark, um, Shaquan Davis, and, and, and the list goes on. Uh, so I, I look at this and I think, yes, definitely, you look at these players here, good seasons generally all over, um, good quality all around. So, yeah. And yeah, interesting. I think they, Taylor, sorry, Taylor yeah. from St George's, I think is a. I, I think he could have gotten in. I thought Taylor as a defensive midfielder. You look here, you see Nicoy Gale is in the mix, um, and and I think to myself that Taylor, based on the season he has had and where St George's went, I thought he was really exceptional in a lot of the season. Uh, went unnoticed a lot because it wasn't obviously a pretty role in terms of goal scoring and so on. But how he broke up play, how he read the game, Taylor. That was a player with the locks. Yeah, Taylor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think that I think that he Zabari. Uh, Zab yeah. yeah, was terrific every time I saw him. Yeah, that's I, for sure. I thought that he deserved a place in that team, and to think that he didn't even make the reserve list. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if we could have another look at the reserve list, but. Yeah, I, th I think he should, yeah. certainly should have gotten in there. I was surprised that Peralta made it, for example. Yeah, his understanding of the game, for example, just talking about Taylor, and he seems to know what he wants to do with the football before it gets to him, and so he always seems ahead of the game. And uh, when you look at St. George's at the back end of the season, every game you saw him, he was one of the standout players against the best competition in all of schoolboy football. So I think you are right. He could have and probably should have gotten a look into that squad. Interesting, you spoke about Tajari Lee because um, our almost prediction guru, Lejay Williams, had <laughs> Tajari in his all schoolboy football um, He's a good setup. goalkeeper. Yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's a good goalkeeper. I, I, I remember when he was just starting out at Kingston College, you know, he had these kind of shaky performances, but certainly got it together. And then his move to Heidel, to me, has blossomed. Um, Heidel, as I said, went all the way to the final. Uh, and. As I said, I definitely think Adir was a cut above the rest from Tivoli and he probably needed more support in his defence line. Mm -hmm. he, you know, he was exposed a lot, so maybe he was asked to make a lot of brilliant saves, but Lee for me, for sure, and Taylor, I think, was yeah. an interesting omission. In a season that we actually saw, I thought, good defensive midfielders. If you think about even Alex Suazo from, from, from Mona, good in that role as well as a number six. Um, so good to see that role, you know, I'm being dominated somewhat in school by four. Yeah, definitely agree with you on the Zabir Taylor issue. Akeem Bradarn, Mona's goalkeeper. I don't have a problem with him being listed as, as a reserve. Maybe I'm, I, I thought that Bernard, I thought physically, 
he looked better than he did last season. I thought more in shape. He had obviously trained a lot harder. Um, I thought his agility was a little bit better, but still making a little too many mistakes for me. Yeah, did the Olivia Shield performance, um, you think, take away significantly from him being able to make this squad? I think that fact that Mona won the title probably put him in the squad. <laughs> I, I think... I, 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 I'm not totally sold on Bernard. I know, I think generally communicates well. I give him credit for physically how he has improved himself. But I think sometimes um, some, save that he's, some save that he's expected to make, he's not really executing that way and still work to do. As I said, I'm disappointed that Lee didn't make the top three. Yeah, all right. Thanks very much, Chris Taylor. That's it. As we just had a look at the Old Manning and all the Costa teams. Um, named recently and you heard it here first on the Sports Mic Zone. Let's go to a break. Thanks to Chris for today. Yeah, he pretty much stayed the entire show. He's like that, you know. <laughs> Let's take a break. We'll be back with more. <laughs> Football no local, the youths are moving to international big league. And I still people are but member which party start. Isa, schoolboy football, run come, look one, look all. Which team are the best and I got better than the best and if I hear team beat your chest. Isa, schoolboy football, a team could rise and a team could fall. But they never will know until the whistle blows.